her. It was wrong when people vandalized and defaced your home. It was wrong when thugs went to Senator Hawley's home. And I don't know if the reports are true, but the Washington Times has just reported some pretty compelling evidence from a facial recognition company showing that some of the people who breached the Capitol today were not Trump supporters. They were masquerading as Trump supporters and, in fact, were members of the violent terrorist group Antifa. Now, we should seek to build America up, not tear her down and destroy her. And I'm sure glad that at least for one day, I didn't hear my Democrat colleagues calling to defund the police. Now, I appreciate all the talk. Now, I appreciate all the talk of coming together, but let us not pretend that our colleagues on the left have been free of some anti-democratic impulses just because we signed on to legal briefs and asked courts to resolve disputes. There were some on the left who said that we should not even be seated in the body, that we ought to be prosecuted, maybe even jailed. Those arguments anger people, but people do understand the concepts of basic fairness. And no competition, contest, or election can be deemed fair if the participants are subject to different rules. Baseball teams that cheat and steal signs should be stripped of their championships. Russian Olympians who cheat and use steroids should be stripped of their medals, and states that do not run clean elections should be stripped of their electors. This fraud was systemic. It was repeated. It was the same system, and I dare say it was effective. We saw circumstances where when Democrat operatives couldn't get the outcomes they wanted in state legislators, when they couldn't get the job done there, they went and pressured and litigated and usurped the Constitution with extra constitutional action of some officials in some states. They fraudulently la laundered ballots, votes, voter registration forms, and then they limited review. In 2016, Democrats found out that they couldn't beat Donald Trump at the ballot box with voters who actually show up, so they turned to impeachment and the witness box. And when that failed, they ran to the mailbox, where this election saw an unprecedented amount of votes that could not be authenticated with true ID, with true signature match, and with true confidence for the American people. Our Article Three courts have failed by not holding evidentiary hearings to weigh the evidence. We should not join in that fa failure. We should vindicate the rights of states. We should vindicate the subpoenas in Arizona that have been issued to get a hold of these voting machines, and we should reject these electors. I yield back.